I mean, to be honest, I was really happy with the race. Being in P3 was was going to be a great result for us. Um, I knew Lando was pretty fired up after yesterday. I saw the battles up front. I mean, you got to be there to pick up the pieces, and and that's what we were. And at the start of this year, we were never there. So the team has done an amazing job uh, improving the car and yeah, really proud to be back on the top step. It feels like a really good result. Uh, I mean, when I finished second in Monaco, I was, was, just, was super happy. Today, it's almost, there's so many what ifs. Uh, you know, obviously with the penalty yesterday, uh, a, a bit of a tough first stint, the VSC at the end. There's so many little things that if they had been a little bit different when uh, the result could have been so different. So it's a bit hard to, to ignore those right now, but uh, no, very, very happy. And uh, yeah, some good points, another, another podium. Um, and yeah, after starting in seventh, didn't really expect that. Obviously, it comes with a bonus, this podium, uh, because if not, I think we would have been probably P5 on the road, which is where we were expecting to finish, as uh, Oscar sooner or later was always going to pass us on the McLaren, and uh, uh, we were still that half a tenth, a tenth behind George in race pace. But uh, yeah, happy, you know, we, we put a solid race together and, uh, and we're on the podium, so happy. It has some damage on the car, so uh, I think we touched, uh, I think Sainz and I touched. I think, well, it's, it's like there's a, yeah, there's a mark on the side of the, of the car, so, um, which is why I went wide, uh, turn one, but anyways, um, yeah, congratulations to George. Those days. Yeah, it's of course unfortunate. It's stuff, stuff that you don't want to uh, to see happening. It's as simple as that. Um, of course, I will I will look back at it because I mean, of course, at the moment it's easy to, to say stuff. I think it's better to just look back at the footage of what exactly went wrong because it was a bit of a I would say an awkward angle that we touched. It's something that yeah, it's very weird and uh, also for both of us to get a puncture with it is yeah really uh, really bad. But. Um, we also did so many things wrong throughout the race that we put ourselves, you know, in a position like that. So those are also things that we have to look at to, to improve. Especially at the end, it got so intense. But I think it was intense at the at the front too with Max and Lando. So it was it was happening everywhere. It was yeah, touch and go. I was really you know pushing hard to keep Checo behind. Um, but yeah, the last two laps, my tires were kind of really you know done with it. Um, and I made a statement. I almost lost the car completely out of turn ten in a big way. I went onto the gravel a bit and, and had a big tank slapper. Then he came by, but into three, I kind of let him edge in front, so I could have DRS for the for the next straight, which um, obviously put me back in front. And luckily, it was final lap because I would have not survived another lap. Um, but yeah, very happy. Double points for the team and in a big way. So uh, unfortunately, we ended up picking a lot of damage um, into turn four, and. Um, I think that was with Piastri, and um, the side pod was completely destroyed. And um, I just had no more, no load uh, out there. I was sliding like, like a duck all over the place, and um, I just uh, a bit tired right now. But uh, yeah, good race. Really, really happy. Uh, Nico P6, myself P8. Good bunch of points for for the team there. Um, yeah, couldn't be happier. Back in the game for for P7 in the championship and. Uh, just uh, great to be back. It took a lot of concentration and, and effort. We were, yeah, a bit more on the defence, so a bit more mirror watching today. We we were hanging on to the points as opposed to. I mean, at the end, actually, the last few laps, I had DRS on Magnussen, so we we had a little bit of pace. Probably at the end, when the tyres were getting getting older, but uh, for most of the stint, I felt like we weren't um, a very fast car in our group. So we we were just hanging on by the skin of our teeth is that yeah, what they say it is they do say it was pretty intense from first lap i didn't have the best of a start uh, i had to recover turn three turn four and then after pretty intense battle on track with fernando esteban charles um so yeah it was it was quite entertaining uh, in the cockpit and um yeah very happy it's full false race in a row in the points um seem to find some consistency with the team obviously Still a lot of work. We're not going to be overjoyed with a, a single point, but we're clearly going in the right direction. And uh, yeah, I really hope in the next few weeks we can pick up some more performance to, to fight for, for bigger points. Well, my view is that uh, it was a racing incident and I couldn't do anything. Uh, I was in the middle of Oscar and Checo. Oscar, Oscar, uh, Oscar Diano Checo was in the inside. Checo went for an overtake because there was the gap, but maybe it was a bit too optimistic. I mean, going into the first corner three wide, it never. Uh, gonna work out and uh, and that made me lose the front wing and uh, that was 
not the end of our race, but uh, then we had to recover so much. So, uh, yeah, a big shame. We had a very good start. You know, I, I was able to jump in front of Nico, who was the target. Uh, really, we knew it. And, uh, and yeah, it was good to be able to be in front of him. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, after that, I just lost ground to, uh, to all the cars. You know, I was not able to, to really fight much. Um, the pace wasn't there. And, uh, yeah, we, we fall back and we didn't manage to, to keep inside the point, so... Did it feel any better? Did you feel like you could no. push a bit? No, it's the same. How did it feel to just have to try and make the best of it, I guess? What did you, you go through? Uh, through that long place? weekend, a lot of work to do. Started good and somehow I ended up right way behind everyone else, so... I don't know what's happened, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, it's a mystery race. P12, P13 was supposed to today. I know it's not points, but I don't like finishing behind where we should have finished. I feel like around the pit stops, I was losing a lot of time either fighting with cars and then boxing straight afterwards or coming out in, in dirty air or, or whatnot. So I don't think it was easy out there with such a small track and a lot of cars on track. The pit stops are always a little bit tricky, but um, we lost a lot of time. Uh, my, my fault. Yeah, not that much action where I was, but um, actually felt a bit better than uh, in the sprint race with the pace. I think we did find a little bit of something, so it was a bit closer to the competition um, that we've seen all weekend. So that's better, but we need to find something more for Silverstone. I was obviously looking at uh, one guy behind me overtaking me, side by side, taller. Next thing I saw was a, a green Fernando trying to die bomb, but yeah, I think obviously he tried to erase the guys I was was overtaken by. So yeah, uh, I think he just went too deep and uh, hit me basically. So yeah, the car was quite damaged after that. Lucky enough to continue, to be honest. But yeah, the race was honestly a bit boring, uh, not much pace. Yeah, difficult race. Uh, when you don't have the pace, you have to try different and alternative strategies. We try the three stops. Then uh, I lock up and I, I touch uh, one you uh, in turn three. I had the penalty, so yeah, all in all, um, didn't change probably the results because we were out of the points. But uh, yeah, very long race, 71 laps when you are not fast enough. I took my front wing off on lap one, oh. and uh, that was it. So um, outside that, I think the pace was pretty good. Um, could set better than yesterday, but um, yeah, it sucked. Yeah, I thought it was. Um, I thought it was a good race until then. Uh, Clearly a little bit on the back foot in terms of overall pace comparing to Max. You know, the first and second stint, he would always just edge away that little bit and little bit. But um, they just seem to make a lot more mistakes than what we did. Uh, you know, they messed up their pit stop, which is rare from them, but clearly a bit of pressure from, from their side and they uh, started to slip up a little bit. Um, but I felt like I drove a good race, you know. I, I kept myself in the fight the whole time. It was very difficult on track to make, easy to make mistakes, or difficult to drive because of the wind and conditions and things like that. But, uh, just feel let down.